Hi, Alex here from Rebeloper.com and in this video I am going to show you how you can reset an ARKit scene and we are going to take a look at some default shapes you can add to your scene. So without further ado, as always, let's get started. So let's take a look at our current project now. Uh, first of all, let us just commit if we didn't uh, do so. So I just type in here and I will just push to remote. And now we are going to create a new branch from the current existing branch. So you may see all of the elements that I have put up in each and every video. So we just right click on the current branch and I would just name this. Great. Now let's go to the game view controller. And as always, we are going to need a new a button so I will just simply copy this minus button and uh, the handler objective C function and I will just paste it in here and I will just rename this well it will be a reset button in the middle of our uh, a, a bottom of our screen. So here we have our reset button. The width should be reset button width. And we should use the handle reset button tabbed. So I just simply copy this out and paste it in here. Okay, and maybe change the print statement handled uh, tapped on a reset button. And of course, we need to create a new function here that will be called reset scene. And uh, just to get uh, rid of the warn uh, warnings here, or not warnings, they are actually errors, we are going to create this function at the bottom of our class. Okay, good stuff. One thing uh, to note is that we still have this minus button asset for our reset button so let us just select our assets catalog and uh, i already uh, set our button here so i will just simply drag and drop it and hit command b to build our project so we may get auto completion in our scene so let me just delete this and type in reset and here we have our reset button good stuff next up is to add this reset button to our scene as usual this is uh, plain good old uh, coding that i have uh, made available in detail in the previous video so go ahead if you don't really understand what i'm doing here go ahead and take a look at my other previous video okay and here we have it now for the anchor we are going to position it to the center of our screen and to the bottom so top anchor should be nil left should be nil bottom view safe area uh, guideline bottom anchor okay and now we need to set the right anchor to nil too and here we have our top constant 0, left 0, bottom constant uh, 12 and the right constant 0 again. And of course here we have our not plus button with, well we can use the plus button with because it's the same but we should use the reset button with. And now I just uh, realize that we should use here our minus button with two okay well basically it's the same but who knows we may might want to change the width of our buttons so if we have that constant let us just use it okay uh, and one final thing is now that it is uh, uh, pinned to the bottom we still need to put it it to the center so I will just type in here a reset button 
and just start typing in anchor and I will just anchor center Y to super view. Okay. Uh, what is wrong with it? Well, nothing. Okay. It has finished uh, compiling. Okay. And handle reset button. What is the problem? Yeah, we need to add our objective C. So let me just type in here. And let me just, uh, well, I will just uh, leave that uh, here. Okay. Oh, it is, it has been redeclared. So uh, this is the handle reset button and reset scene. Oh, I just forgot. It should be a reset scene and not objective C because we already have that selector uh, function created. Okay. Now that we have this set up, now we need to take care of the reset scene. Well, first of all, we need to pause the scene. Then we need to remove all of the nodes inside the scene, except of uh, well, uh, except for those uh, nodes that are from the origin. And then we need to run the configuration again. So, what do we need to do? First of all, let's type in arview dot scene. Well, uh, session and then type in pause and that will pause the session and now we need to remove all of the nodes that is arview.scene.root node enumerate child nodes and let's hit this completion and node we don't need an unsafe pointer so we will put in underscore and now here we enumerate through all of the nodes that are boxes because only we added only uh, nodes that are named box so uh, well maybe let us just type in here nod and a nod because uh, in a few minutes we are going to uh, create not just boxes cylinders circle uh, and other stuff too so let's type in maybe you should give it a more explanatory name to your nodes it is good for now so remove from parent node and this will remove all the nodes that are named node uh, inside our AR view this is needed of course if you saw the previous uh, video because uh, we might have a crash because of the removing of the origin nodes. Okay, and finally, we need to run our configuration again. So, arview.session.run, and here we have our configuration. And if you can, might remember from the previous video, we have already a configuration here. Configuration and we are going to declare here the AR session run options and uh, there are two of them and that is remove existing anchors and reset tracking good stuff now let us just build and run select our iphone and let's see how this all looks okay now we should see the origin removed and replaced to the new position of the iPhone. So just uh, build and run here and uh, let's just wait for it. And now here we have our, well, we have some uh, issues here with the button. I will just take a look at it. Just one minute. I believe we have uh, issues with the constraints. So uh, button. Oh, yes, of course, we should anchor it to the center X to super view. Let's build and run again. And now it should configure. There we have our button. And once we see those yellow dots, we, here we have our origin. Let's add a button, uh, a box. Well, where is my box? Maybe we should well, let's add a few more till we get there we are. Okay, and now let us just move a little bit further and then let's reset the scene. As you can see, everything has been removed and now it is configuring and now we see those yellow dots and 
Now we... Where is the origin? There is the origin. Okay. Good stuff. Okay. Now, let us just take a look. Well, first of all, I want to remove all of this random uh, stuff. I just want to add only one a box here. So I'm just typing 0, 0.0 and minus 0 0.3. So 30 centimeters back from the region. Okay. Now let us take a look at some of the common used uh, shapes inside our uh, SCN nodes. And go ahead and uh, type in https developer.apple.com documentation slash synkit slash built in geometry types. And here you can see our basic shapes. Now we will not cover all of them, but only a few of them that are mostly important. So you already saw the SCN box that has a, a height, a length and a width and a chamfer. Okay, now let's take a look at some others. And here we have, let's select our first on the list and that is the SEN capsule. And as you can see, here we have our height, our cap radius and the cap segment count, height segment count, cap segment count. Well, a lot of stuff to digest, but let's take a look at it in action. So, let's just uh, select our scene here and let's just delete, well, let's just comment out. So you may get uh, for future a reference. So I will uh, just uh, rename this and I rename the box node by selecting this uh, uh, by selecting the box node and I will just hit command here and tap on it and select a rename and I will just rename this do the same with add box I just rename this And now, oh, that is because we did not remove all of the elements. If you can recall, a few minutes ago, we did not remove the boxes. Well, that is why I have a typo in the code. So go ahead and uh, replace none with not. Okay, now let's add our capsule, okay? So, uh, shape node dot geometry, and that will be an SCN capsule. And uh, let's just select our cap radius. And let's say cap radius should be 0 0.05 and the height should be, let's say 10 centimeters, 0 0.1 or 0 0.10 if you wish so. Now let us just build and run again. Here we go. And let's add a new shape. There we go. We have a perfect circle. And that is because we set the cap radius to the half of our height. As you can recall, here we have our cap radius. And of course, because the height is only 10 centimeters, the cap radius is five centimeters. We have a perfect circle, but of course we do have a circle. Uh, already inside here. So let me just go back to the first. So cylinder plane pyramid sphere. It's not circle, it's a sphere. Okay, now let us create a capsule now. And let's go back to our Xcode and maybe set this to 20 centimeters. Build and run again. And now we should see a capsule. Okay, let's tap on the plus button and here we have our capsule. And by the way, take a look at the details of this material. Good stuff. Okay, now let's go further. What else do we have here? Well, we have a cone. Let's open this up in the new tab. And 
for the cone. Of course, you know from the geometry lessons you had in math, here we have our cone. Let's go into our Xcode project and let's add a cone programmatically. So, shape node dot geometry equals to SCN and just type in cone and you will select this top radius, bottom radius and height. So let's take a look at what all of this top radius and bottom radius and height is. Well, this is the top radius and as you can see, if you want a pointed cone, then you set the top radius to zero. Now the height of course is the height, you know about that. And here we have our bottom radius. So let us just create, first of all, a cone that has a top radius of zero. Let me just close this and now Top radius 0, 0.0, bottom radius, well, let's say 0, uh, 0 0.10 centimeters or maybe 0 0.5. So we get the diameter of the circle, of the bottom circle uh, to be 10 centimeters and the height should be, let's say, 0 0.15. That is 15 centimeters. Let's build and run again and see how that looks. And after that, we are going to tweak the top radius so you may see uh, how that affects our shape. Let's just wait for it. Here we have our origin and let's add it. Great. Great. Okay, here we go. And now let us just set our top radius to be, let's see, well, let it this be 0 0.5 and let the bottom radius to be 10 centimeters. Okay, and let's build and run again and let's see our custom shape. Okay, let's wait for it. See the environment. Here we go. Well, let's add our shape and there we have it. Of course, this is basic math geometry, uh, but I thought it would be really nice to see these in code and in effect. Okay, let's stop and let's move on to the next one. And the next one is a cylinder. Now let's open it up and see how a cylinder looks like. Well, plain old center, we have a radius and height. I will not go through the cylinder because uh, I just waste your minutes. Go ahead and take a look at a cylinder for yourself. It is quite self-explanatory. I am just going to show you what others there are. Here we have a plane, but we will talk about the plane and the floor in the next lesson uh, that will come. And here we have our pyramid. Let me just show you. Well, it is a simple plane old pyramid with a height, width and the length. Okay. And here we have our sphere. Of course, we have created a sphere from our capsule, but this is the proper way to create a sphere with a radius, SEN sphere that is. And here we have a torus. And I would just, uh, for uh, ending this uh, video, I would just create an SEN torus and a tube. Okay, so let me just open this up open a new tab and uh, let's see what a torus looks like. It, it looks like a basketball hoop and let us just go into our Xcode and type in shape node dot geometry equals to SCN torus. And now here we have our ring radius and our pipe radius and make sure the ring radius is uh, well uh, let's uh, well, uh, let's see how that looks here we have our ring radius and here we have our pipe radius so the pipe radius must be smaller than the ring radius okay uh, so the pipe radius let's say 0 0.02 and the ring radius 0 0.10 okay let's build and run again and see what we get here Let's wait for it to recognize our environment. Here we have our origin. And there we go. Pretty nice torus. Now, finally, let's take a look at the last 
shape and uh, that is the SCN tube. So let's open this up and let's take a look at how that looks like. And as you can see, we have an inner radius, an outer radius and a height. Make sure that the inner radius is smaller than the outer radius. So let's go back to Xcode and let's add this final shape here. So shape dot geometry equals to SCN tube. And here we have our inner radius. So the inner radius should be, let's say, 0.2 outer radius 0 0.10 and the height should be let's say 0 0.15 okay let's build and run and see how this looks like here we go okay let's add this one Oh, for some reason we don't have anything on the screen and that is I believe that we yeah we need to change the inner radius it should be 10 and the outer radius should be 20 let's build and run again okay let's wait for it here we go we have a huge tube here okay and that is it for today's lesson. I believe my camera has run out of battery, but if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to share it with your friend, go ahead and share it through Facebook or Twitter and subscribe to our channel to see more videos of me showing you ARKit magic. And I will see you in the next one.